Why are there not more people talking about Japan's unique historical journey? Welcome to Tech and Trek, where we explore the past powered by the future. Imagine a world map from the 19th century, a time when the globe was being carved up by powerful empires, each vying for dominance and control over vast territories. Vast swaths of Asia and Africa are painted in the colors of European empires. The British, French, Dutch and other European powers extended their reach, imposing their rule over distant lands. Yet one nation stands out. Amidst this frenzy of colonization, it remains untouched. It remains untouched, a beacon of independence. This nation is Japan, a country that managed to preserve its sovereignty and cultural identity. This is Japan, the uncolonized empire, a land that resisted the tides of foreign domination, a nation that defied the odds, charting its own course through turbulent waters. Japan embarked on a journey of self-improvement and modernization, transforming itself from a feudal society into a formidable power. Japan's story is one of resilience, adaptation, and ultimately, transformation. It embraced Western technology and ideas, yet retained its unique cultural essence. It's a tale of a nation facing down Western imperialism and emerging as a global power in its own right. Japan's industrial and military advancements allowed it to stand toe-to-toe -to -toe with the Western powers. How did Japan achieve this remarkable feat? What strategies did it employ to maintain its independence and rise to prominence? What lessons can we learn from its unique historical journey? Japan's path offers valuable insights into resilience, innovation, and the importance of cultural identity. Join me as we delve into the heart of Japan's past, exploring the forces that shaped its destiny and its enduring impact on the world today. From the Meiji Restoration to its role in global affairs, Japan's story is a testament to the power of determination and vision. For centuries, Japan existed in relative isolation. Its island geography and unique culture fostered a strong sense of identity and self-reliance. However, the winds of change began to blow in the 16th century. European traders and missionaries arrived on Japan's shores, bringing with them new ideas, technologies, and ambitions. While initially receptive, Japan soon grew wary of the West's growing influence. The Tokugawa shogunate, the ruling military government, implemented a policy of sakoku, meaning closed country. Foreign interaction was strictly limited, and Japan entered a period of self-imposed isolation that would last for over two centuries. The isolation that had served Japan well for so long was about to be shattered. For over two centuries, Japan had maintained a policy of seclusion, known as Sakoku, which limited foreign influence and preserved its unique culture and traditions. In 1853, a formidable American fleet, commanded by Commodore Matthew Perry, steamed into Edo Bay, present-day Tokyo Bay. This fleet, consisting of four powerful warships, was unlike anything the Japanese had ever seen before. The arrival of these black ships with their powerful cannons and imposing presence sent shockwaves through Japanese society. The Japanese, who had been isolated from the rest of the world for so long, were both fascinated and terrified by these foreign vessels. Perry carried a letter from the US president demanding that Japan open its ports to trade. This letter was a clear ultimatum, backed by the threat of military force, and it left the Japanese with little choice but to comply. The shogunate, caught between a desire to maintain isolation and the fear of Western military might, reluctantly agreed to sign the Treaty of Kanagawa in 1854. This treaty marked the first time Japan had opened its doors to the outside world in over 200 years. This marked the beginning of the end of Japan's isolation and set in motion a chain of events that would transform the nation forever. The opening of Japanese ports led to increased trade and interaction with Western countries, which in turn sparked a period of rapid modernization and industrialization. Japan would soon emerge as a major global power, forever changed by the events set in motion by Commodore Perry's arrival. The forced opening of Japan to the West sparked internal turmoil and unrest. Many felt that the shogunate had betrayed Japan's sovereignty by bowing to foreign pressure. This discontent culminated in the Meiji Restoration of 1868, a bloodless revolution that returned power to the Emperor Meiji. The Meiji Restoration ushered in an era of unprecedented change and modernization. The new government recognized that to survive in this new world order, Japan had to adapt and learn from the West. They embarked on a radical program of reforms, embracing Western technology, science and education. Balancing act, diplomacy and modernization, Japan's leaders understood that modernization alone was not enough. They needed to navigate the treacherous waters of international diplomacy to avoid becoming another victim of Western imperialism. They skillfully played the great powers against each other, forging alliances 
and leveraging rivalries to their advantage. Japan's modernization efforts were nothing short of remarkable. Within a few decades, the nation transformed itself from a feudal society into an industrial power. They built railroads, established a modern army and navy, and implemented a Western-style education system. This rapid modernization would prove crucial in Japan's rise to become a major player on the world stage. Rising from the ashes, Japan as a world power. The true test of Japan's newfound strength came in 1904, when war erupted with Russia over control of Manchuria and Korea. The Russo-Japanese War shocked the world. Japan, the once isolated island nation, decisively defeated a major European power. The victory over Russia sent a clear message. Japan was a force to be reckoned with. It had established itself as a major military power and a dominant force in East Asia. However, this victory also sowed the seeds of Japan's future ambitions, ambitions that would ultimately lead to conflict and tragedy. The empires shadow Japan's colonial ambitions. Japan's success in avoiding colonization came at a cost. As it modernized and expanded its influence, it adopted some of the very practices it had resisted. Japan began to pursue its own colonial ambitions, seeking to secure resources and expand its empire. Japan's expansionism led to the colonization of Korea, Taiwan, and parts of China. While these actions brought economic benefits, they also came at a terrible human cost. Japan's colonial rule was often brutal, marked by exploitation and oppression. This period stands in stark contrast to Japan's earlier resistance to Western imperialism, revealing the complexities and contradictions within its historical narrative. A legacy of resilience and transformation. Japan's journey from an isolated nation to a global power is a testament to its resilience, adaptability, and determination. The Meiji Restoration marked a significant turning point, propelling Japan into an era of rapid modernization and industrial growth. Its ability to embrace change while preserving its rich cultural identity is a remarkable feat. Traditional practices like the tea ceremony and vibrant festivals continue to thrive alongside cutting-edge technology and modern lifestyles. However, Japan's story is not without its dark chapters. The devastation of World War II left an indelible mark on the nation, shaping its future policies and international relations. Its colonial past serves as a stark reminder of the dangers of unchecked ambition and the importance of learning from history. The occupation of Korea and other territories left a complex legacy that continues to influence regional dynamics. Today, Japan stands as a leading economic and technological powerhouse, the bustling streets of Shibuya and the towering skyline of Tokyo symbolize its remarkable recovery and growth. It has renounced its imperialist past and embraced pacifism, playing a constructive role on the world stage. Japan's commitment to peace is evident in its active participation in the United Nations and various international peacekeeping efforts. Japan's story offers valuable lessons about the power of innovation, the importance of diplomacy, and the enduring legacy of historical choices. Its journey underscores the significance of resilience and the ability to transform challenges into opportunities for growth and progress. Reflection Lessons from the Land of the Rising Sun As we reflect on Japan's unique historical journey, we are reminded that history is not a linear progression. It is a tapestry woven with threads of resilience, ambition, innovation, and tragedy. Japan's story challenges us to question our assumptions to look beyond simplistic narratives and to grapple with the complexities of the past. What can we learn from Japan's experience? Perhaps the most important lesson is the power of adaptation. Japan's willingness to embrace change, to learn from others while preserving its core identity, allowed it to navigate a turbulent period in history and emerge as a stronger nation. Japan's story is a powerful reminder that the past is not just a collection of dates and events. It is a living tapestry that continues to shape our present and our future. By exploring the past, by understanding the forces that have shaped our world, we gain a deeper appreciation for the challenges and opportunities that lie ahead. As we continue our journey through time and space, let us carry with us the lessons of Japan's past, the importance of resilience, the power of innovation, and the enduring legacy of our choices. What are your thoughts on Japan's unique historical journey? Share your insights in the comments below, and don't forget to check out our other videos exploring the fascinating history of our world. Until next time, keep exploring. This is Tech and Trek.
exploring the past powered by the future. Subscribe and join us on this incredible journey.